Hi everyone, and welcome to my first drawing time lapse. In this video, I want to share with you my inking and coloring process, and show you some tips and tricks that I learned in the past. I never thought of any reason, a doubt about us, and I won't write. I'm using here a pencil brush pen. The tip of it is cut in half because I was not happy about the line thickness and also the control of the lines that I've got with an original brush tip. Now it's time to speed up the video and enjoy the process. When I'm happy with inks, I erase the pencil line and the line art is ready to be scanned. Thank you. 
Now I need to prepare my line art for coloring. I use a stamp tool to clear all imperfections on the picture. By applying a black and white adjustment, I can easily get rid of yellow tone of the paper. For cleaning the rest of the pencil lines, I use Dutch Tool. Range is set on highlights, so I can clean up only the bright areas of the picture. In my case, it's everything except the line art. Because it was not possible to flip image while inking, I fixed some mistakes in Photoshop. It's important to do it before you lift your line art on a separate layer. And here we go to our first tip. Keep the tools you are using frequently on shortcuts. For example, the horizontal flip tool. The flip tool itself doesn't have a shortcut. But you can set it up by yourself by going to Edit, Keyboard Shortcuts, Image, Flip, Canvas, Horizontal. I set mine on Ctrl plus Dot. When the cleaning is done, I go to the next step. Lifting the lines of your sketch on a separate layer with a transparent background. I will slow down the video so you can follow my steps. Ok, to remove inks or pencil sketch from a background, first you need to have it on one layer, merged with all the adjustments and overpaint that you need. And it should be in grayscale. Next. Push Ctrl A to select the whole picture and Ctrl C to copy it. Then go to Channels, create a new layer and push Ctrl B to paste your line art on that layer. Disable the new layer and switch back on the old ones. Go back to Normal Layers tab. Now go to Select on top and choose Lot Selection. In the channel panel, you can see the name of the layer where we just put our line art. Press OK. If the selection is loaded and versed, like in my case, just use shortcut Shift, Ctrl and I. We are almost there, guys. Now, create a new solid color layer and choose any color you want. And here you have it, your sketch on a transparent background. And what's best, you can change the color of it anytime. I learned this technique by watching KNKL videos. You can apply it also on the pencil sketches. And add later a clipping layer to be able to color the line art more precisely, if you need to. Next, I am closing all the gaps in my line art on separate layer. Then, with a magic tab, I am selecting the negative space of my figure, adjusting the selection edges and making a new mask filled with solid color. I can use this later if I need to select the whole figure separately of a background. After that, with a hard round brush, I block out the color areas that will exist in my picture. Skin, hair, outfit, for each I do an own layer. I don't care much of going over the outlines because I can always slot the selection from my full body mask that I did earlier and delete all what is out of the selection in one click. 
Basically, the color flats I'm making right now are gonna be the masks for the overpaints later. By the way, the BSD file and a high resolution of line art are in my Patreon October pack. Later it will be also available on Gumroad. Feel free to color this character in your own way and share the result with me on Instagram using a hashtag coloringcottony. This gradient layer that I'm using here is set on multiply and low opacity. It will give me nice shadow gradient on a figure. And also it will look pleasant for the eyes and help to define a focus point on the character. For the overpaints I use new layers that are clipped to the color flats. That helps to paint only in the area you need it to. And now it's time for tip number 3. I don't know if you guys already know this. But for me it was a big deal. To use this shortcut with tablet, one of your buttons on stylus should be set on right mouse click. Press ALT and a right mouse click together and then drag your stylus to the left to decrease the brush size and to the right to increase it. I hope you find it as useful as I did or you all already knew it and I'm just a slowpoke. I will list all the tips I've mentioned in this video in description box with the time links so you guys don't need to search again if you need to refresh something. This coloring technique with Lasso Tool is often used by comic artists. The principle of it is to select the areas you want to make brighter or darker and go over with soft round brush, keeping some of the edges soft and making others rough. Another advice on painting and coloring stuff will be keeping your canvas zoomed out, especially in early stages, and keep an eye on the picture in the navigation panel. This will give you way better overview of focus point, shadow and the overall effect your artwork have. Using Lasso tool by coloring made the structure because of the moving outlines. To hide them, click Ctrl H. Selected area will remain, but the outlines will no more be visible. To make them appear again, just push Ctrl H one more time.
I really hope guys you could learn something new in this video. If it was helpful and some tips was new for you, put yay in the comments. If not and you know this already, comment nay. As you can notice, English is not my first language and not even the second one. So I may did some mistakes and my pronunciation is not the best. But I hope it didn't bother you that much. I already tried to improve my English. So with each next video it will get a little better. By doing the highlights on picture, my brush mode is set on hard light or color dodge, depending on which result I like more. I enjoyed doing this video for you guys. I learned a lot about video editing. I tried my best to make the process interesting and informative. If you have any thoughts on what I can do better next time or on which aspects I should focus more, please let me know. That will help me to improve my content in the future. I also want to say a big big thank you to my patrons. You have pledged before I published any content without knowing how would it look like. I hope I didn't disappoint you guys. At this point, I will leave you to watch the process to the end. If there are some questions left, leave them in the comments. I will try to answer them or mention in the next video. See you soon!
Watch them go. 
was alone, nowhere to go and no place to call home. My only friend was the man in the moon, and even sometimes he would go away too.